So here's a problem. I know you guys are, Mr. Craig, I'm bored. Speaking of being bored, let's talk about a board that's 56 inches long, and we're cut it, gonna cut it into two pieces. Now, does it say we're cutting this into two equal pieces? No, because no, that'd be too easy, right? But it tells us that one piece is 12 inches longer than the other. It might help us if we were to draw a diagram. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Now, this is, we're going to see a lot of these problems where if you take the sum of all of the parts, that equals the total amount. The sum of the parts equals the whole amount. So if I were to take, I'm just going to just generically draw a board here. Now, I'm going to cut this into two pieces, right? Do you know how long each piece is? No, you don't. You know, one is, does it say one piece is 12 inches? No, it's 12 inches more than or 12 inches longer than the other one, right? Now, when you read this, the piece that's 12 inches longer, you know something about him, right? So when it comes to defining your variable, you will always define it based on the thing you know nothing about. So in this problem, I know nothing about this guy. So I will say this. Let x equal let x equal the length of the short piece. Don't you even dare say that x is the short piece. It's not. It's the length of the short piece. So if you put this in your diagram, and I say this guy right here is x. I don't know how long it is. I'm just going to say x. Let's build everything else. If this short guy is x, how would you represent the length of the longer piece? How do you do this? Look at the second sentence. What would you say? X plus 12. Yes, Elena, without the question mark. This would be x plus 12. Because think about what, it, just imagine this, just picture this. If this guy, <coughs> excuse me, if this guy were 10 inches, how long would the other piece be? If, if one piece is 10 inches and the other piece is 12 inches longer, what would it be? 22. If one piece was 20, what would the other piece be? It would be 32, right? Because they would be 12 inches longer, right? So if one piece is x, how did you get the other piece? Well, Mr. Craig, I was adding 12 to find the other piece. Uh-huh. You were adding 12. What's the total length of all of this, though? The total length here is 56. That is your equation. You basically have this. You've got the short piece plus the long piece. And again, I'm not going to the equation just yet. It's kind of like a, a middle step here. The short piece plus the long piece should equal the total length. Don't you all agree? We're going to ignore the thickness of the, the blade that's cutting the wood that we're losing. We're just, it's not important. So how did you represent the length of the short piece? X. How did you represent the long piece? And then their total length was what? 56. Ah, 56. I've got an equation. How do I solve this? Combine like terms, so we have 2x is over here, plus 12, is equal to 56. And then what would you do? Subtract 12 on both sides. So now that's 0. 2x equals what? Forty-four. Oh, we're almost there. I can feel it. I don't want two x's. I want just one x. So I divide by two, and I find out that x is equal to what? X is twenty-two. But what did x represent in this problem? 
It was what? No, it wasn't length of the board. It was length of the short piece. So how long is the short piece? Seriously, how long is the short piece? That's what we said x was representing, right? The length of the short piece. So that means that the short piece The short piece is 22 inches, and the long piece is, well, it said that the other piece was 12 inches longer, right? So what's 12 inches more than 22? Are you sure about that? Then say it with pride where everybody can hear you. It's what? It is 34 inches. Is 34 inches 12 inches more than 22? Yes. What happens if you add these guys together? What do you get? You get 56 inches. What was the total length of the board supposed to be? 56. So everything checks out. And we've got our answer.